them all of them were filled with the holy spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the spirit enabled them glory to god so they were now speaking there was a large crowd that were there and the 11 the 11 apostles because remember judas iscariot after satan used him to betray jesus and cause him to be captured to be taken rather because jesus literally handed over himself hallelujah glory to god so judas killed himself after that ordeal when the eleven were there gathered crowd were there the eleven apostles they were there they were filled with the holy spirit and now this crowd was witnessing the fulfillment of the prophecy that the lord will come and dwell among his people glory to god hallelujah thank you jesus now to be a minister of the gospel as stated before it is it is a wrestle it's a war it's a war it's a war it's not easy preaching the gospel is not easy you will see why let's pick up at verse 14 then peter remember peter jesus said upon this rock will i build my church glory to god so peter peter he was the first to speak he was giving a sermon the first sermon then peter stood up with the eleven raised his voice and addressed the crowd fellow jews and all of you who live in jerusalem let me explain this to you listen carefully to what i say these people are not drunk as you suppose it's only nine in the morning no this is what was spoken by the prophet joel in the last days god says i will in the last days god says i will pour out my spirit on all people your sons and daughters will prophesy your young men will see visions your old men will dream dreams even on my servants both men and women i will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy i will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below blood and fire and billows of smoke the sun glory to god glory to god glory to god that is the gift of god the promise that was fulfilled hallelujah and is fulfilled to anyone who believes and call upon the name of the lord jesus so we have seen the importance of coming up higher in god we have seen the love of god we have seen oh it is a war war for persons to believe hallelujah now look at this look at this glory to god in the highest peter had to war he had to speak with many words until three thousand people became added to the body of christ they were able to repent and be baptized 
asking the Lord to forgive them of their sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Acts chapter 2, verses 41. Let me find it. Glory to God. Acts chapter 2. Let me find it. Hallelujah. Look at the war that Peter, a minister of the gospel, an apostle had to do a servant of God. Preaching the gospel isn't easy. Sometimes you talk and you talk and you talk, but just know the seeds are being planted. Glory to God. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Acts chapter 2, verse 37. When the people heard this, they were caught to the heart and asked Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? Why did they ask this? They asked this because Peter had just explained to them that Jesus had to die in order for us to be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And how impossible was for him to be held captive by Abes, the realm of the dead. For the Lord God the Father would not allow him Kadosh, 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 his body to see decay. Kurbasana. So the Lord God the Father brought Jesus back to life and many witnessed him. So Peter broke down the message in the, in the simplest form as could be by the empowerment of the Holy Spirit so that they could understand understand that truly Jesus Christ whom they had chosen to be killed they chose for Jesus the Christ to be killed Jesus of Nazareth to be killed and chose for Ju for Jesus they had chosen for Jesus of Nazareth the Christ to be killed and they had chosen for Jesus, Barabar, Barabbas, Barabbas, rather, Jesus, Barabbas. So there were two Jesuses, glory to God, that were in trial. And Pilate wanted to set one free. He was trying to, trying to set Jesus of Nazareth free, to be, to be honest, because he did not find any form of sin in him. He was guiltless innocent hallelujah the lord himself had to encourage him to say that go ahead and do what you have to do because greater is the punishment that will fall on the persons who actually caused it to happen hallelujah kadosh 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 so many times people in this world may have chosen things that they should not choose the people back then had chosen for Jesus Barabbas to be released, a well-known murderer. No one doubted about the crimes he committed. He was famous for his crime, murder. Yet they chose him to be released. This, however, is prophetic to show that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was dying for a sinner he was doing an exchange taking the place of a sinner instead of Jesus Barabbas the rightful sinner 
being put to death, he was set free. So in the spirit, when we accept Jesus, we allow ourselves to be baptized, buried in that same death Jesus committed long ago and be brought back to life by his Holy Spirit in us. Glory to God. So all of this was being explained by Peter and in his message that God had that foreknowledge that this was his plan all along to send his son to redeem mankind, to put Satan and its entourage to public shame, making a way for us to dwell with the Lord in heaven. Glory to God. So after Peter explained all of that, Glory to God. Verse 37, Acts chapter 2, verse 37. When the people heard this, they were caught to the heart and asked, Peter and the other apostles, brothers, what shall we do? Imagine they were now feeling so torn, so caught in their heart. To know that the very Savior they had been studying in the laws of Moses and studying in the, the, the word of the living God they have been studying and anticipating and waiting on the coming of the Messiah. They were the hand, the hand of blood, guilty, 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 that cause is that was a, a heavy news to bear. But the Bible says godly sorrows leads to repentance. Thank you, Lord. So now this is what occurred. Verse 38, Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. This promise belongs to you and your children and to all who are far off. That means we, <laughs> we who were born way, 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 thousands and thousands of years after all of that the coming, the first coming of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and him dying. Hallelujah, kadosh, kadosh, kadosh. His second coming is not to die again. He died once and for all. His second coming is to judge. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Verse 40, now this is the power to war. The power to be able to affect persons, to cut them in their hearts. Meaning, not physically, come on, come on, come on, come on. Open your spiritual eyes. We're reading the word of the Lord. This is an expression. Glory to God. However, in the kingdom of God, there are weapons, weapons that are not carnal, they're not of flesh, they're not physical. Glory to God. La Corugosa, the power to bring conviction, a cutting conviction in the heart of persons when they hear the gospel. Talaba. Glory to God that leads them to ask the question, so what shall we do? To be saved. What now? That word, that effective word is enabled by the infilling of God's Holy Spirit in us. Thank you, Lord. Verse 40 says, with many words, he testified, that's Peter, and he urged them, be saved from this corrupt generation. Those who embraced his message were baptized and about 3,000 were added to the believers that day. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Thank you, Jesus. With many words, 
with many words. Glory to God. Kadosh, Kadosh. Help us, Lord, not to get weary. I am at 2 hours and 27 minutes. Hallelujah. And this is the power of God. For me to be able to stand here, hallelujah, to be speaking for this long unfolding the word of God according to God's word. This says the unfolding of the Lord's word brings light. And this light is the light of life. Glory to God. The light of Christ shines in darkness so that we do not stumble. Glory to God, thy words, O Lord, are a light unto my feet. O Korabas, and a lamp unto my feet, and a light. Hallelujah to my path. Glory to God. For those who walk in darkness, they stumble. Those who do not have the light of life, their ways are foolish. And before God, they are considered as fool. Because the Bible says, the fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. And I will tell you the reference so that you don't think that I'm making this up. This is Psalms chapter, let me show you, 14 verse 1. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. Their deeds are vile, which means wicked, evil. There is no one who does good. Glory to God. We need the light of life to be rescued from the darkness of this age. The darkness represents the works of Satan. Hallelujah, the corruptness, those philosophies, hallelujah, glory to God that tries to rob God of his glory, turn away people from seeking and believing the truth. My heart, my heart, my heart, my heart is burdened for persons who do not know the truth i watch and i see how devoted they are in the lie the lie that satan fed them and their family and their forefathers when i speak when i speak about muslims and when i speak about Hinduism, when I speak about persons whom the, whom the enemy, Satan, the devil, has been lying to with these belief systems, my heart, the Lord's heart, yearns for his people to come home they some of them they do their rituals their religion so earnestly sometimes they're weary and sadly some even commit suicide because they can't understand why is it they're praying and there has been no answer. It seemed like a huge disconnect because the God that they're praying to is not real. And the Lord, the one and true God, he yearns. There is another lie to say that you can call God any name because it's the same. That is also a lie. When the Lord introduces himself and introduces his name to Moses, according to Exodus 
chapter three kadosh 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 and chapter six he refers to himself as i am he is who he is there is no other but him hallelujah and he takes it back he's the god of abraham the same god way back then he's the same god right here right now Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So these many words that I speak today. Psalm 64, verse 1. Hear my voice, O God. In my prayer, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Ask the Lord to protect you from the fear of the enemy. For the enemy tries to drive fear. Satan tries to drive fear. And the spirit of jealousy and envy or envy because they're the same. These are the two main things that Satan spirits, evil spirits, that Satan utilizes. We have to be in prior to the true and the living God so that we do not fall prey to the traps of the enemy. There is a lady by the name of Lydia. Lydia was a worshipper of God. Hallelujah. She also sold purple cloths. Purple cloths were known back then to be worn only by the royals, the kings. So she used to sell purple cloths. She believed and worshipped God, but she had not yet been converted to believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Now, let's look at the war that Paul and Silas had to go through for her to believe so we have looked at peter through his sermon and through this war three thousand persons came to christ glory to god now let's look at paul and silas their mission according to acts chapter 16 they were venturing out to go to find a place to pray so they went outside of the city gate in Philippi, Masanda, that is a city located in Macedonia. They went out of the city gate right at the river. Glory to God. Instead of praying, they were met upon or met by women that were gathered there. So they started to speak to them. Hallelujah. The importance of speaking the gospel. In speaking the gospel and talking and talking, Amasotorobosa, being led by the Holy Spirit, because God is so profound. He can use one word and literally discuss so many things, and then everything will just merge together as one message. Like yesterday when the Lord said to me, rise. Through that word, he has showed me so many things. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He told me to write down some notes because he didn't want me to miss out on anything. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So the definition of rise means to come up higher. That is the definition the Lord gave to me. 
glory to God in the highest glory to God also means to change a position get out of bed to stand from a sitting or lying position this reminds me of showing reverence when a judge walks in a courtroom hallelujah rise also uses to refer to a river when it rises somewhere it's, it first comes out of the ground this is based on research hallelujah this now reminds me of a plant when it's sprouting piercing through the earth glory to god rise means to move upwards O Amanda. when we pray there is a rising that occurs glory to god rise also means when a parliament stop working when a parliament or a court rises to show that they have finished their work or they stop working hallelujah kadosh 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 hallelujah hallelujah ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 it reads thus and god raised us up with christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in christ jesus this seat is far above principalities and powers glory to god glory to god glory to god kadosh 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 hallelujah so now let's look back at this lady lydia who is lydia we have already mentioned hallelujah about her she used to deal a dealer of purple cloth she sells it now she heard the message glory to god of paul and silas and listen to this the lord opened her heart to respond to paul's message Glory to God in the highest. Now the Lord gave me a vision of what this weapon of the spirit looks like. It looks like almost like the shape of a sickle, which is like a, a blade or a knife that is used during harvest when persons are harvesting it literally cuts and helps them to reap right so that's the same curvature of this weapon i saw in the spirit so it's a sword but the style of it is completely different from what i normally see it curls at the end of it hallelujah a broad blade but it curves at the tip kadosh 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 this was placed in my hand and i heard the the lord he said you shall war now look at this message i am now at two hours and 40 minutes i am warring in the spirit in faith believing that persons will 3,000 and more will come to believe. I ask you, Lord God, let this be a sign. O Kola, let 3,000 and more through this very message come to repent, be baptized for the forgiveness of their sin in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Glory to God. Sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. It is finished in his name. I am. So this weapon in the spirit was given to me to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This was right after seeing the Lord when I was there praying at my altar, the altar, my private place where I pray before the Lord. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. And this place is covered spiritually by fire guarded by fire so that evil cannot locate Lamo Korabasa, for the lord himself dwells there in jesus name sealed by the blood of jesus christ it is finished in his name i am amen so at that era where i normally go to pray 
I saw the Lord standing and when I went there to pray, that was when I saw the vision. Acts chapter 2 verse 22. This is the message of Peter, the sermon of Peter who had to war. And the word that was specifically used was that their hearts were cut. They were heavily convicted. Fellow Israelites, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs which God did among you through him as you yourselves know. Glory to God in the eyes. Peter was warring as he explained who Jesus was based on the prophecies Glory to God, to these onlookers so that they could be saved. And this was, this capability comes through the infilling, the endowment of the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Jesus Christ, in his ministry while he was wow. Whoa, whoa, the, the light of Jesus Christ just shone around this place. Jesus Christ, Son of God. Oh, Lord. Jesus. I'm in awe, Jesus. I'm at two hours and 44 minutes. Two, which represents truth. Four represents light. Four represents life. This is the truth. At this point of the message, the light of Jesus Christ, the tangible light of Jesus Christ, I just witnessed Sean Jesus glory to God and this reminds me of yesterday when the Lord encountered when he caused me to encounter him I saw a golden bright light shining where I would go to pray this message is very important to deliver persons from darkness. Lord, I see you. I see you. Thank you for coming. You promised, according to Isaiah 41, that I need not to fear, Lord God, because you are with me. You also said that you will strengthen me. You will help me. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Kadosh, Kadosh. Thank you for showing this sign. Hallelujah. Namano Moshe Lebesa. Cause over 3,000 persons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To repent and be baptized. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the salvation, for their salvation. Kadosh, Kadosh, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Seal by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is finished in his name. I am. Amen. Amen. Jesus in his ministry also had to be warring. He had to be trying to say to the Pharisees, well, he said it, that he is who he is, that he is the Messiah. He is the Son of God, but they refused to believe. Look at this. Glory to God. Jesus had to say to them, nor does his word dwell in you. 
for you do not believe the one he sent. In spite of the signs and the wonders and the miracles, the Pharisees refused. They, they were truly far to see. The Pharisees were far to see that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, in spite of the signs and the miracles and the wonders. Psalm 5 verse 8 says, Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now we're going to look at the point wherein Jesus Christ was faced by these antagonized, by these religious folks, the Pharisees. Jesus went, according to John chapter 5, verse 16, he healed a man on the Sabbath and he told him to pick up his bed, his mat and walk. This man had been paralyzed for 38 years. Now the Jewish leaders saw him, Kadosh, Kadosh, and they had a problem with him. Problem that Jesus was healing on the Sabbath. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Now John chapter 5 verse 16 said that the Jewish leaders began to persecute him, persecute Jesus because of this reason. Kadosh, 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 holy, holy, holy. John 5 verses 36 to 38 says, I have testimony weightier than that of John for the works that the Father has given to me to finish, the very works that I am doing, testify that the Father has sent me. Hallelujah. And the Father who has sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, nor does his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one he sent, Messiah. Yet you refuse to come to me. Jesus is saying to them, you refuse to come to me, the Pharisees. You refuse to come to me to have life. Glory to God. Jesus in his ministry had to be warring for persons to believe. Jesus died and rose from the dead and has passed on the baton to us, warring for the gospel, for the salvation of sinners. Join in, become an ambassador, a and a servant of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's not a physical war. It's a spiritual war. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Makoribasa. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 10 says, Godly sorrow leads to repentance which leads to salvation. Glory to God. And that is the only cutting that occurs. The only cutting. Godly sorrows that leads to repentance, which leads to salvation. Matthew 11 verse 29, Jesus says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. God Jesus is not about strife. He's not about being aggressive. He is very gentle, very humble. So God is not sending anybody to quarrel with anyone. In fact, Jesus said that if someone does not accept your message, if you go into a city, they refuse you, you're supposed to leave. Shake off the dust, detach yourself from that place. Hallelujah, and you leave. Thank you, Lord. Let us all learn from him. War as Peter did. 
war as Paul did. Run the race that is set before you with patience and perseverance, letting go everything that besets you, what type of sin, what is holding you back, what type of weakness, let it go. Let it go and run your race according to Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 to 2. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Psalm 21, verse 7 says, The king trusted in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. When we trust in the Lord, he secures us. Early on, we have heard of the Lord promised to be a wall of fire around his people and to be his glory within, our glory within, our stronghold. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is demonstrated. A real life event wherein a king, King Ezekiah of Judah, was being threatened by this evil king of Assyria called Sennacherib. This can be found in 2 Kings chapter 18. Please take the time to study this word. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. King Ezekiah was known to be successful because he obeyed God. He destroyed idolatry or satanic altars and he rebelled against this evil king of Assyria called Sennacherib. Sennacherib sent his threats and wanted to take him captive. But I'm being reminded of the Lord told him, not to be afraid of him is nothing. And the Lord proved this to be true. When we are given keys, they are words. Hallelujah. When we pray, when we pray, we receive revelation. Revelations, glory to God. We receive keys just like all. Peter received the revelation from the Father that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. Then by that he received a key from Jesus to bind things on earth so that they're bound in heaven, to loose things on earth so that they're loose in heaven. So in prior revelation that the keys are words because they open doors. Glory to God. This key is opening a door to trust when you study this word you will you will receive a revelation a key an open door you're able to access wherein trusting in god when you trust the lord as this king did and as king david did you will not be moved Please take the time to study that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Master. Master. Now, the Lord revealed to me that he's about to do something. Something that is hmm, awful. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Isaiah 3 verse 3. It reads thus, The captain of 50 and the man of rank, the counselor, skilled craftsman, man, and a clever enchanter. The Lord is about to conduct judgment. Glory to God. Let's keep on to Isaiah 3 verse 5. So the same chapter but verse 5. So we're highlighting verses. People will oppress each other, man against man, neighbor against neighbor. The young will rise up 
against the old, the nobody against the honored, verse 9. The look on their faces testifies against them. They parade their sin like Sodom. They do not hide it. Woe to them, severe punishment to them. They have brought disaster upon themselves. So called Amanda. Verse 10, tell the righteous. So this is the judgment for sinners, those who are parading in their sin. But the message now for the righteous, hear this. Verse 10, tell the righteous it will be well with them. For they will enjoy the fruit of their deeds. Verse 16, the Lord says, the woman of Zion are haughty, walking along with outstretched necks, flirting with their eyes. Maybe they were doing, you know, flirtatiously. Strutting along with swaying hips, a very, very seductive with ornaments jingling, jingling on their ankles. Verse 17, therefore the Lord will bring sores on the heads of the women of Zion. The Lord will make their scalps bald. Hallelujah. Thus saith the Lord, I, the Lord, will do that's what I heard when you revealed this word to me. Verse 24, instead of fragrance, there will be a stench. Instead of a sash, beauty, honor, looking nice and beautiful, a rope. Instead of well-dressed hair, baldness. Instead of fine clothing, sackcloth, mourning clothes, kadosh, kadosh, instead of beauty, branding kadosh kadosh so women listen up if you have been allowing your body to be an idol of seduction wherein you utilize your body to lure men or to get things in life and you sway your hips and you beautify yourself just in order to gain favor just in order to cause persons to lust at you you have grieved the spirit of the lord and he is about to bring shame to what you take pride in the word of the Lord says, here is what brings beauty to persons, to women. God says he will cause sores to break out on your head. Lama korobosna and cause you to be bald and taken into slavery. And he promised. He says, this is what he will do. Kadeba sokolomo shatirabasangalamangi. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Persons may be wondering, so why it is that sometimes I see you praying with your head covered and sometimes not covered? This is the doing of the Lord because ultimately he is my covering. I have to present myself as he orders me to present myself for a high reason. Hallelujah. A reason that is according to his will. It's not everything I'm able to reveal. However, if the Lord chooses to reveal, he will do so. Glory to God in the eyes. But I have been warned by the Lord. If at any time I call on you to pray, you pray it covered or uncovered. I have to obey. Lano Mosanda. Because Isaiah chapter 31 verse 5. He promised me this. Like birds hovering overhead. 
the Lord Almighty will shield Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the city of God where the people of God dwells, the holy city. So he's saying the Lord Almighty will shield. Let's take it from the beginning. Isaiah 31 verse 5. Look at this grace. Number five represents grace. Like birds hovering overhead, the Lord Almighty will shield Jerusalem. He will shield it and deliver it. He will pass over it and will rescue it. Hallelujah. I'm always covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is the Lamb of God. This points to Exodus 12 when the Lord passed over, spearing the firstborns of his people, but getting rid of Kadosh, Kadosh, the firstborn of those who were enslaving his people. This was the 10th plague by the use of the 10th plague you can read it in exodus chapter 10 exodus chapter 12 to be correct by the 10th plague glory to god glory to god hallelujah so this is the love of god he is the king of glory Hallelujah. Those who can approach in need to have a pure, a pure, pure heart and clean hand. Confess your sins, repent and be baptized. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Lord God gives hope and a future to his people. Let's look at Psalm 114. It says, when Israel came out of Egypt, that's the land of bondage, what happened to them? Jacob from a foreign, Jacob from a people of foreign tongue. Judah became God's sanctuary, God's house. That's where the Lord was born. The Lord was born. Jesus Christ was born in the tribe of Judah. So Judah became God's sanctuary, his dwelling place. Israel is dominion. The sea looked and fled. This is referring to the Red Sea when the Red Sea parted so that the people of God could cross over on dry land. The Jordan turned back. This was when Jordan River was pulled back, retracted, and formed the heaps so the people of God could cross over. Shalamanuru. So two times water had to move away so that the people of God could step over. Glory to God. The mountains leaped like rams, the hills like lambs. The principalities, the powers, the hierarchies, everything had to flee everything were 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 crushed they they were just driven away lama korobo sanda glory to god because why let's look why was it see that you fled what did you see see why jordan this is jordan river did you turn back why mountains did you leap like rams you hills like lambs Verse 7, tremble earth at the presence of the Lord, at, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool, the hard rock into springs of water. So creation saw the Lord going before the Israelites when he was rescuing them out of the land of bondage of Egypt. Glory to God in the eyes. When they were thirsty, the Lord caused water to come out of the rock. Hallelujah. Look at the love of God. We see two of the Lord nailed our legal indebtedness, took it out, everything that tried to hinder us here 
removed it and nailed it to his cross and spoiling the principalities and powers. Glory to God. Zechariah 2, which I have already mentioned that the Lord prophesied and promised that he would come to dwell amongst us and he did glory to god glory to god while seeking the lord the lord hallelujah has given me different different um weapons weapons in the spirit and this is to encourage and to activate persons to go deeper in prayer. There are gifts that are readily available when you pray. For God will not lie. When you seek him, you will truly find him. You will encounter him. Hallelujah. And this one, glory to God, is Harubosa. Let me read what my encounter was because I wrote it down. During prayerful worship of new songs and exhortation, I perceived that Jesus' power sets captives free by breaking the lock of their graves. When Jesus died on the cross, many captives were raised to life from the grave. Matthew 27 verses 50 to 53 and bondage hallelujah so the lord frees them from bondage what type of bondage lord set the israelites free from the locks chains bondages of the egyptians so the lord broke his people free break them free from slavery Exodus chapter 12, the same Passover that I had made mention of. Kerumosata. The Lord can do, yes, he can do this again. Hallelujah. He is able by his power to break us free and has broken us free from the slavery of sin and being dead in sin. So looking at these types of locks, a lock of sin and a lock of death, the Lord has broken, Jesus Christ has broken both of these powers, hallelujah. And the power that he utilized that comes from Jesus is the power to break locks. And that is what the Lord has bestowed on me Sata, and this shall be the sign for you anything that that is dead in your life that the lord has ordained to be alive that the lord has ordered and orchestrated put in you to come forth to serve him in the name of jesus i break the locks i break it now in the power of the name of jesus christ sealed by the blood of jesus christ it is finished it is done i heard my father said it is done and i believe him Glory to God. I acknowledge you, Lord. Sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ, it is finished in his name. I am. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. So this power break locks. And in a vision, I received this by the Lord showing me a large gold key and it had like this. Let me read it to be clear. I also perceived the meaning of the ruler. This is another dream I'm referring, another vision I'm referring to that I had some days ago. I also perceived the meaning of the ruler I saw measuring, even when I felt many, many, many kept coming out of my mouth during this prayerful worship time. Glory to God. When I thought and personally measured that no one else could save mankind, 
no one else could safely approach the father to take his scroll and break each seven seals glory to god psalm 24 says who can ascend the mountain of god now while i was in this worshiping time and receiving such revelations and found myself just saying many 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 the lord caused me to research and this was also said in the bible many means god has numbered your kingdom and finished it God of supreme wisdom made the armies of holy angels laugh at Satan and other fallen angels to scorn. According to Colossians chapter 2, hallelujah, kadosh, kadosh, kadosh. Thank you, Lord. They thought they won, but Jesus had a plan, turning them into laughing stock, even a child can just say the name of Jesus and demons tremble. God has cut Satan's kingdom. Hallelujah. And I put LOL laughing out loud. I, it's, it's funny. It's quite funny. <laughs> glory to God. Who is he? The king of glory. The Lord Almighty. He is the king of glory. Only Jesus was pure hearted and has clean hands clean hands to approach God the Father. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Glory to God. Jesus, the only Savior, brave enough to enter death and the grave to set captives free and he can set them free again. Hallelujah. Key of power break locks thank you jesus in the name of the lord jesus christ i utilize this power that comes from the lord jesus christ only to break every lock over my satalaba every lock of torment that is he kurmasna dalan that has taken the people of God bound. I break it now in the power of the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that the Lord, the light of Jesus Christ, enters and breaks it now in Jesus' name, sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. It is finished in his name. I am. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is so awesome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How beautiful is God when, you know, I, I had this dream before receiving the word about what the Lord is about to do. The ladies, woman who has been strutting around, worshiping the God common G-O-D, God of sex and seduction. The Lord gave me a dream before the revelation of the word and he said, I was in the dream and the angel turned around and said to me, God said that you are worried that your ear is about to fall off, but it will not. And this occurred twice. This is the truth. The Lord knows those who are in him. Hallelujah. Walk uprightly. Rise by seeking the Lord in prayer and fasting. Glory to God in the eyes. He will not put you to shame. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is so awesome. Then the Lord spoke to me earlier today, in the morning today. Well, I'm now in a new day, but the starting of this recording, April the 30th, 2024, I started in the night. So now, <laughs> welcome to me first. 2024 wow look at the confirmation of jesus christ 
Isaiah chapter 1. <laughs> May 1 is being met with Isaiah chapter 1. What does this word say? Glory to God, you're so perfect. Now, I will only be looking at some highlights. This is really the Lord heart is reaching out, his heart postures toward mother. The Lord wants us to celebrate mothers for surely they are a gift from God and he has given me a gift. Hallelujah. He has revealed to me a gift, a physical um, product that he wants me to create and use to celebrate mothers glory be to god in the highest and the lord will bring this to pass in Jesus' name glory to god in the highest you can keep checking on our website that is the gift shop hallelujah each money is used there hallelujah directly to fund into the charity to do the work of the lord glory be to god oh pokora so these are physical products manifesting the heart of God. When the Lord gives me gifts, I can't help but dance and I just feel seeing special and love. And this is what the heart of the Father does. Whenever he gives me gifts to create, to give to his people, hallelujah, the aim is the same for is people to feel seen, special, loved, and to dance because it's it's such a surprise when persons would contact me and tell me that they're gonna gift it for someone, whether to persons in the church. Because one time a pastor, by the grace of God, asked me to to bring forth some gifts for mother's day gift for certain ladies in the church and it was just such an honor glory to god in the highest glory to god so now the lord has a plan and there is nothing that will hinder the move of god in Jesus' name thank you lord isaiah chapter one reads thus these are the highlights Verse 2 to 3, hear me, you heavens, kadosh, kadosh, listen earth, for the Lord has spoken. I reared children and brought them up, but they have rebelled against me. Hallelujah. The ox knows its master, the donkey its owner's manger, but Israel does not know. My people do not understand Hallelujah. This is really for mothers. The Lord is saying he knows, he understands what mothers are going through to know that they have reared their children and yet still they have turned out to be rebellious. They don't even acknowledge them. He knows the pain that mothers are suffering. Glory to God. Look at this. Verse 4. Woe to the sinful nation. Kadimala Masote. A people whose guilt is great abroad of evildoers, children given to corruption. They have forsaken the Lord, they have spurned the Holy One of Israel and turned their backs on him. Glory to God. Wash and make yourselves clean. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. But if you will resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Note, this is not, this word is the highlight that the Lord has seen. Glory to God. Oh, his children glory to god have backslidden and he has also has shared in the let me go to glory to god he has also shared in the pain of knowing that mothers they have watched to see how their children 
some of them how they have turned out to be so rebellious literally like broad of evil doers children given to corruption and they have to wonder but i didn't raise them that way god sees your pain mother and as we have entered may may the month wherein we observe to celebrate mothers the lord remembers not only women and he has made that conviction he has made a woe to women who are very sexual and all those things in a in an evil way in an evil way glory to god in the eyes now we're looking at all the lord wants to honor mothers those who are suffering children's children <laughs> who have been rebellious and have backslidden glory my son of backslidden hallelujah glory be to god the lord the lord he is willing to help and to rescue look at verse 21 see how the faithful city has become a prostitute she once was full of justice righteousness used to dwell in her but no murderers you your rulers are rebels partners with thieves they all love bribes and chase after gifts so we have seen oh some persons have taken on to the love of money they have taken on to so sadly scamming which is so wrong god has seen all these things mothers the lord has remembered you the lord has remembered your pain glory to god god wants to restore wayward children verse 6 i will restore your leaders as in the days of old your rulers as at the beginning afterward you will be called the city of righteousness the faithful city glory to god in the eyes glory to god glory to god thank you jesus thank you jesus the lord is able to restore wayward children he is able to rescue them he is able to restore them he is able to transform their lives mother you're not without hope glory to god isaiah 62 verses 1 to 2 the word of the lord reads to us for zion's sake i will not keep silent for jerusalem's sake i will not remain quiet till her vindication shines out like the dawn her salvation like a blazing torch the nations will see your vindication and all kings your glory you will be called by a new name that the mouth of the lord will bestow this is the word of the lord glory to god thank you jesus i honor you jehovah i could have never delivered this word without you kadosh 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 i thank you lord how great are you lord hallelujah the lord has caused me to encounter him and receive this word for mothers and to charge persons children to celebrate their mothers i remember what occurred was that yesterday Sata. I heard this commotion, right? I heard this commotion. I was somewhere, right? And I heard this commotion and I decided to go and look to see because I was inside of a building. So I heard this loud commotion. It was a public building. And then hearing this commotion, you're going to want to know what's happening outside. When I went outside, this is graphic okay i saw 
persons trying to restrain this man. The man we thought had fell over a railing. By the grace of God, he fell onto some garbage bin, plastic garbage bin, which basically cushioned his fall. The Lord prevented him from dying. Hallelujah. The Lord prevented him from dying. In that moment, when we were listening, he was just saying, because they were now trying to carry him to seek emergency care. And he was saying he has nothing to live for because, and then we found out that he had just received news that he lost his mother. His mother died. The Lord is saying this. He is encouraging children. Nakorobosa. Life, life is short. Don't wait until the mother or your mother has passed before you're living in regret and trying, giving room to the enemy to try to take out your life. Look at this. Look at this. If you're a son or a daughter, look at this. The Lord wants to encourage and to comfort you. Rema Satalamo. Do not commit suicide. Do not allow the birthing pain that your mother had to go through, that labor pain to, to birth you, to bring you on earth, to go to waste. The most you can do to honor her after she dies is by living a life of love, living a life of being surrendered to God and loving her while she's alive and even after she has passed okay do not let the enemy steal that from your mother or from you there is so much more to life hallelujah kadosh kadosh i surrender this message to you lord let your will be done as it is in heaven, let it be done on earth right here, right now, and throughout the earth. I thank you, Lord God, for coming here. I pray, Lord God, Amasunda, that this word shall find those who are mourning for their mothers and that this word shall give them hope. I pray too that this word would encourage those who have their mothers and maybe being very rebellious i pray that this will open their eyes to see a koromosa and to start being obedient to return to the living god and to live an honorable life while celebrating their mother for mothers as the lord has revealed kadosh kadosh you are a gift from god mothers are gifts from god Hallelujah. The scripture says, the woman who carries the good news, they are a mighty throng. They are a mighty army. Let me tell you the exact verse. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm trying to find it in my notes. Hallelujah. Hold on. Glory to God. 
God. Psalm 68, verse 11. Glory to God. The Lord, he rises, he scatters the enemy, he gives his people victory. Even women, they're able, hallelujah, to receive a wonderful reward. He makes gifts for his people. And this gift amongst man, according to Psalm 68, one of these gifts are mothers. The Lord truly made mothers to be as gifts. Honor them. Glory to God. You can check it out in Psalm 68. And I'm excited to see the manifestation, the birthing that the Lord himself will do to bring this gift to life. Hallelujah. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. And it shall be in our gift shop. Hallelujah, glory to God, which you can find the link below. Hallelujah, in time, so you have to keep checking to see. <laughs> Hallelujah, thank you so much for joining in this wonderful, awesome, deep, soaking message in the light of God. We have absorbed the light and like Moses, when Moses stepped off, Mount Sinai with the word, the tablets of stone, his face shone so bright. Glory to God. Glory to God. We are shining bright for the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So God, I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise. If anyone wants to give their life to the Lord, you can repeat this prayer after me. Holy Father, I believe within my heart that Jesus, he is the Messiah, he is the Son of God. I believe that he died and was raised by you after three days back to life. I believe he has ascended to heaven and will return again. I believe he is Lord and I confess this with my mouth. I acknowledge I am a sinner Wash me by the blood of Jesus Christ. I accept the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth as my personal Lord, as my personal Lord and Savior. I accept him in my heart. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I surrender my life to you now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. It is finished in his name. I am amen. Congratulations. Welcome to the body of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is glorious and wonderful and mighty. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Hallelujah. The Lord has caused me to write a book just for you, New Christian Converts. This can be located in the link below. Please go and take a read. Please also ensure that you seek to get your water baptism and Korubo Sanda. If you'd like, you can send this request to me. Hallelujah. You'll find the email address below. By the grace of God, according to his will, it shall be done. In Jesus' name. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord, hallelujah, 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 shines his face towards you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance toward you and give you his peace both now and forevermore. Sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ, it is finished in his name. I am. Amen. I give the Lord all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. Bye, bye, bye. Please remember to subscribe. If you're not yet subscribed, click the notification button and help me to share the gospel. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Bye, bye.